So as of filming this, earlier today, macOS Sequoia was announced. And, um, well, I've decided it might be a good time to try OpenCore Legacy Patcher on an unsupported Mac and try to run Sequoia. So let's get to it. So hi guys, I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods and long time no see. Um, I thought this would be the perfect comeback video to film here. And in today's video, we've got a mid-2015 MacBook Pro right here, fully maxed out with everything but SSD. Uh, this system is going to be a topic of a future video coming up. Uh, I've had this since October and never got around to filming it. And I thought it would be a great time to try Sequoia on it. Right now we have Open Legacy Patcher, uh, Open Core Legacy Patcher 1.5 on it. And um, I've already seen proof that it works uh, with the latest Sequoia, except it may not patch the drivers in. So it's still more act kind of funky, but this will be a, a great proof of concept and we'll get to play with Sequoia a little bit on something it sh isn't meant to run on. So let's get to it. And say hello to my mid-2015 MacBook Pro here with the 2.8 gigahertz quad-core i7, 16 gigs of RAM. It's got um, the built-to-order video card in it. I don't remember what it is. Let's see here. Uh, the Radeon R9 M370X. This thing is literally the maxed out model, except for SSD. So this should be a perfect candidate to attempt this. So let's do it. Okay, so I've updated Sonoma to the latest version and switched over to dark mode so it's a little easier to film. And now I'm going to follow Apple's instructions. And hopefully this will work. I've already registered this with my developer account. And in theory, it should just pop up as an option. I hope. Hmm. I am not seeing any developer update options. This could be an is issue. Okay, I've downloaded the install assistant from uh, Mac Rumors, and uh, we'll see if that does something. Hopefully it does. Don't know what that translates into, but let's see what happens. Still nothing. Huh. Maybe it's right here. See if that works. Yeah, and it's installing. Awesome. So I guess we'll wait and see what happens. So, OpenCore is detecting that there's an update being installed. We hit OK, and it installs the KDK, which is a good sign. And it continues to install. All right, the system is getting ready to restart. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we're about midway through the install now, and as we see, everything's really small. And every time that an OS updates with OpenCore Legacy Patcher on this system. Um, it gets rid of the graphics drivers, of course. And uh, <laughs> these systems are quite unique because uh, it doesn't know what to put for the resolution of the screen. So it does max resolution, which is um, really, really tiny resolution um, until the drivers reinstall. And I have a feeling we're not going to. Um, so, and this is going to be an interesting experiment, and it's going to be quite slow with no acceleration. But we have eight minutes to go, so we will continue on and see what happens. And welcome to Beta 15. We are now in Sequoia. Let me type in my password here. Uh, if you notice, the pointer is not very smooth. It's because there's no acceleration but that comes with the territory of doing this. This is just an experiment. Let's see what happens. Yeah. 
it's so slow that uh, it's still typing in. There it goes. All right, there's my Firefox up. Close that out. I had activity monitor running because I wasn't sure if it was actually working about this Mac. Mac OS 15. More info. It's so small. Oh boy. Mac OS 15 beta. Uh, you can barely see that, but there you go. We are running it, which is a good sign. That means that, um, at least for now, unsupported Macs will still be able to run the latest version of Mac OS uh, whenever it uh, actually gets to working. Now, I am going to try to experiment something here. Um, I've heard that the uh, new version of OpenCore currently does not... Wow, that is really, really laggy. Currently does not patch. And I could try the nightly build, but I'm not really sure how you do a nightly build. So I am going to try to force this thing to patch. And I'll come back with it either patched or not patched. We'll see. Okay, we got OpenCore up here. Let's see what happens when we hit root patch. Cannot patch due to following reasons. Unsupported host OS. Let's see what we can do here. So yeah, I couldn't get the patches to work. I even talked to Colin about it and he says they just aren't ready yet. They've done a lot of committing and uh, they're working on 1.6 from what I understand, uh, the beta of it. Um, but there's just no patching available yet. I tried to bypass and override the uh, system check and that I just couldn't get it to work. So anyway, we have 15 running on here. As we can see here, it is running. Uh, I can't do a whole lot with it. And it thinks that the display, which is... It says it's an unknown display, and it's a 47-inch. And that's what happens when the patches don't work for the uh, video. But this is a proof of concept that you can get 15 to run on an unsupported system. Now, I, I've ran into some little issues, of course, because it's not patched currently. I couldn't get the official real wallpaper to work. This is actually downloaded from the Internet because I wanted the real wallpaper on there. Uh, this isn't the real wallpaper. When you actually do the real wallpaper, uh, let's see here. Where is it? Wallpaper. When you do the actual real wallpaper, you just get a bright yellow screen. So yeah, uh, that's that's not going to work, <laughs> uh, and it's not going to switch back. Darn. One second. So yeah, uh, we got that back to the way it's supposed to be. It, it sucks that it uh, isn't patchable yet, but it's a great proof of concept. I really don't know the difference uh, on Sequoia yet because I actually did not see the keynote, but I do notice the passwords app is on here. Um, cool. Uh, one second here. Let me see if that does something. Welcome to the Passwords app. It is so tiny. And also really hard to get this thing to focus on. But uh, we'll give it a little try here. I guess this is a part of Sequoia. And I don't see the pointer there is. It's so small. So this is the Passwords app. Neat. You know. Um, cool. I don't really know how that all works. Uh, yay. But it, it, it does work. So, um, I don't know what else is on here um, that's new. There, there's the beta tips app. No internet access, which is 
there, there's it's not patched, but hey, it runs. It is running beta 15. Um, so that, that's cool. And it's a great proof of concept. So let's wrap up the video here. So yeah, I spent about two hours trying to patch this, and of course it didn't work. As we can see here, it's it's running though. Um, of course, the drivers aren't working on it. There's no acceleration. But the fact that it's running on a mid-2015 MacBook Pro is a really great sign, and I'm really excited about that. Uh, so, hey, uh, that's, that's a good sign that uh, we will continue to be able to run the newest OSs, uh, at least this version of it, um, on Intel Macs. Uh, 16 will probably kill off Intel Macs, but right now 15 still works on Intel Macs. And I really want to try it on my 2007 iMac when I get a chance to. Um, we really need to bring that uh, system back. But still, it's working, sort of, which is awesome. Um, we're going to revert this back to Sonoma and... Uh, pick up on another video on this in the future, but right now, this is a great proof of concept. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the new Sequoia wallpaper, as you see here, it's muted and not great, and I wasn't a huge fan of Sonoma's wallpaper either. Ventura, actually, is probably my most favorite wallpaper they've ever done, and yes, I know I'm, I'm talking about wallpaper instead of the OS. I don't know much about Sequoia. I didn't watch the keynote. I just wanted to try to get it to run um, and show you a, a great proof of concept. It will run on an unsupported Mac. It just currently can't be patched. But uh, I'd say within the next few days, they'll have some kind of working patch, at least for metal Macs. Um, the non-metals will probably be waiting quite some time for but I'd say they'll be able to get the Metal Max working again, which will be awesome. And hopefully it will support uh, all the way back to the 2012s, uh, which would be awesome also because um, of the CPU things and stuff. But um, we'll see. Um, right now, I'm sure this will work on any 14 and later system. Um, this might be left in the dark for now, but this system should still work. Um, even the 13, uh, 2013 Mac Pro, MacBook Pro should, should work. It's got the same uh, basic CPU in it as this does. So um, I think in the mid-2013, late 2013, one of those. And the early one I don't think does. It might. And the 13s were a little weird. So, but anything with uh, this generation... Uh, the Haswell CPUs, anything Haswell and later, should in theory work fine with um, Sequoia. Uh, anything before that might still have some issues, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, and that's the main reason why I wanted to try the 2015 MacBook Pro versus a 2012 or something like that, because I knew this would probably work. Um, I'm not sure if a 2012 would work, I kind of wanted to do it on my 13 Mac Pro, but um, yeah, I figured this would be easier. Plus, I still haven't done the video on it yet, so I don't have any important things on it. So, but hey, this was a great concept. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, it didn't go quite as planned because I figured I could force it to patch because I've done it before. Uh, back when um, the DOS do patches were really popular. Um, you know, I, I was one of the first people to get to High Sierra to work on a non-supported Mac uh, with Collins Sierra Patcher. And it was just a quick few clicks and a quick patch and it worked. Uh, it's not quite as simple as that anymore, but um, they have committed some things to make Sequoia compatible with OpenCore Legacy Patcher, um, at least the starting of it. It will probably allow you to patch it very soon, but uh, the, if the patches work or not is uh, yet to be seen. But uh, it will be nice to at least attempt to patch them in the future. 
And I think this is going to go quite well. Um, the support won't be that bad. And honestly, the only systems that were dropped for Sequoia were the uh, 2018 and 2019 MacBook Airs. And uh, I bet you, I don't know if anyone's tried it yet, I bet you that OCLP uh, 1.5 already supports it. Um, with the unsupported system patch and stuff, you can probably just get it to work. Um, and it would still probably be fully compatible because all the hardware is still compatible with a lot of the other supported Macs. I don't know why Apple killed those systems off, but they did. But this was a great proof of concept. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, I do have a Patreon. If you'd like to support me, there'll be a link at the end of the video in the description below. I also have channel memberships. If you want to hit that join button right down there, I greatly appreciate it. And usually you'll be able to see these videos a day early, if not even er earlier. Uh, I do release a lot of videos sometimes in unison for you guys to see uh, that support me long before anyone else sees them. Uh, but um, this one I'm going to just release because it's kind of a time sensitive video. So sorry about that, supporters. But thank you for your support. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And this has been a Rocky Mods video.